Um, it's important not only for those that we serve, but also for us that are serving. So it's, you know, one thing that I like to see is that it's a way to remember our own blessings and to not take things for granted that we have here. Hi, Dr. Solomon. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Global Health? Hi, Natalie. Sure. So I was actually recruited initially by Dr. Angela Garcia a couple of years ago. Um, I took my first uh, medical mission trip over to Jamaica, and um, I was also accompanied with. So um, that's really how we got into it. And Dr. Garcia really just showed us the ropes and showed me and Dr. Patel um, how to set up the pharmacy um, at each site that we went to. So we did a lot of preparation work. And when we were there, I really fell in love with the whole process of doing work, um, at, at an international level. So, um, and it was really interesting to kind of get into the bare bones of pharmacy. Um, you know, not only just the dispensing piece, but the counseling piece and compounding and kind of bringing it back to the basics and also seeing a lot of really unique disease states that we don't typically see here in the States. Um, so and it was really a good opportunity to kind of think on my feet and, and get into it that way. So from there, I got the bug and I did a couple of trips after that initial trip to Jamaica. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. So why is global health important? Um, it's important not only for those that we serve, but also for us that are serving. So it's, you know, one thing that I like to see is that it's a way to remember our own blessings and to not take things for granted that we have here. Um, and it's really an excellent way to serve others where resources are limited and to help bring it back to the basics, like I said, by using our knowledge and our creativity to create really optimized plans without having all of the resources that we have on a typical, in a typical clinic or hospital here in the States. Um, most of the time we have a limited drug formulary and limited resources, limited ways in which we can monitor um, our patients that we're serving. So it really requires a lot of knowledge and creativity in order to do the best thing for the patients that we're serving. Thank you. And then my last question today, what kind of global health um, efforts were you involved with before the pandemic started? So like I said, I first started out in Jamaica. So I've done um, the Jamaica trip for a couple of years and I think three times we did Jamaica. And I've also done um, international work with my church in Fiji and also um, in Uganda as recently as last year. So I'm really looking forward to travel being um, acceptable and safe again so that we can go back to traveling internationally so we can continue to serve those that um, in other countries besides our own. Well, thank you for sharing today. Thank you.